because last night an arsonist struck, burning down an entire building at the school. But the fire starter didn't just destroy bricks and mortar. Computers, coursework, teachers' notes and pupils' records all went up in flames. Raj Shukla has spent the day at the school near Rotherham. The true devastation caused by the massive blaze has only become apparent in the cold light of day. 26 classrooms, which contain the work of five departments, were destroyed, together with students' coursework and thousands of school records. Staff and pupils worked feverishly to salvage what was left in the rubble after the fire and water were done. It's a great pity that this has happened in any case, but last Thursday we were celebrating the best ever A-level results we've had. You know, 91% pass rate in all this business. And tomorrow, of course, is the GCSE. And in the middle of this, we've got this little problem. I didn't expect it to be as bad as this. So, it's quite a shock. I used to be a pupil here as well. And <laughs> to see it like that, it's unbelievable. You know, you just don't know what to say. It's believed the fire was started when rubbish in an entranceway was deliberately set alight. Caretakers tried to extinguish it, but flames quickly spread through the 70-year-old building, destroying in hours years of work by teachers and pupils. At its height, 60 firefighters from three counties tackled the blaze, but the design of the block made it impossible to stop the fire spreading. We have had reports that children were seen in the area playing with matches and paper. Uh, and every indication looks as though it was uh, an, arson, an arson attack. The fires reduced this block to rubble so completely it's beyond salvage. Rotherham Education Service are cordoning off what's left until demolition begins. They plan to build new classrooms, but the work is likely to take several months. Ironically, Dennington Comprehensive has already been given a grant to put up closed-circuit television cameras, cameras which might have identified the arsonists. Schools such as this one are major institutions, they have lots of buildings, uh, open sites, and it is a, a very difficult problem. The new term begins in less than two weeks' time. It's still not certain whether there'll be room for all of Dinnington's 1,300 pupils. Raj Shukla reporting. There's further mystery tonight over the disappearance of the young children Jodie and Tom Lock. Production of 26 classrooms at Dinnington Comprehensive School near Rotherham. The cost of the damage is estimated at £2 million. It's the latest in a series of school fires which are causing problems for education authorities across the region. Trudy Scanlon has the story. Scenes of devastation greeted the Dinnington community this morning. The extent of the destruction, a shock to all. Disastrous, that's all I can say. It's devastating, isn't it? I mean, people don't know what to do. Came down here and just couldn't believe it. It's just in, just in ruins. Last night's blaze swept through a classroom block that housed science labs, technology areas and computer workshops. It took 50 firefighters more than seven hours to bring the flames under control and prevent the fire spreading to the main school building. It was a very bad fire. Um, it, was, uh, it took a lot of stopping because of the, the structure of the building, with it being all wood and a common roof void. It's taken, uh, it's taken a great deal to try and stop it. Today, it was all hands on deck, with staff and pupils cleaning up and salvaging anything possible. Head teacher Gordon Forster is determined the school will bounce back. We all feel a bit devastated. I think we feel determined to carry on, but uh, you get a numbness, a sort of, everybody wants to do something. What shall we do? What can I do? I think people will be very determined to make the best of it uh, and to prove that, you know, we can educate these children and whatever problems come along, we shall beat them. Police are now searching for children spotted playing with matches in this doorway. It's not the first time the school has encountered security problems with previous smaller fires, vandalism and break-ins. Ironically, next month, a closed-circuit television system is due to be installed. The cost of school fires is becoming an increasing burden on local authorities. For example, in Leeds and Bradford, the average cost is more than a million pounds a year. On Humberside, last year the figure was £455,000 and Rotherham now faces a bill of at least £2 million. The school has pledged to reopen as planned next month, however lessons may be disrupted for some time. Later on Look North, I'll be talking to John Gummer about plans to reduce pollution levels in Yorkshire's cities. And should the streets of Sheffield be an alcohol-free zone? Before that, a...